Okay, great team. Welcome to lesson two in week two. We're looking at algebraic expressions still, and we're looking at factorizing. And today we're going to revise the sum and difference of two squares, which is something you should know from your grade. Factor x squared minus 49y squared. So what's interesting here is that, well, x squared is clearly a perfect square. It's the square of x. And 49y squared is also a perfect square. It's the square of 7y. So it looks like we might have a special form here. And to remind ourselves, just think about what happens if we take a plus b times a minus b. I'm just doing it in the general case so we can see a pattern here. So over here, if you, this would be a times a, which would be a squared, plus a times negative b, which would be negative ab, plus b times a, or a times b again, which would be ab. And then you have b times negative b, so it would be minus b squared. Now these middle two terms cancel out. Negative ab plus ab, they cancel out. And you're left with just a squared minus b squared. And that's the exact pattern we have here. We have an a squared minus a b squared. So, this is going, so in this case, a is equal to x, and b is equal to and b is equal to 7y. So we have x squared minus 7y, the whole thing, squared. So we can expand this as the difference of, as the difference of squares. Or actually, this thing right over here is the difference of squares. So we can expand this like this. So this will be equal to x plus 7y, x plus 7y times x minus 7y. Once again, we're just pattern matching based on this realization right here. If I take a plus b times a minus b, I get a difference of squares. This is a difference of squares, so when I factored it, it must come out to the result of something that looks like a plus b times a minus b, or x plus 7y times x minus 7y. Right, so that was an excellent video. Now let's see if we can do a couple of examples for ourselves. Um, now, the hint here is always to look at what we have. And if you look very carefully, remember, when you factorize, the first thing you do is look for common factors. And if you look over here, you can see there are no common factors. The next thing that we generally look for is the difference of two squares. And some of you may have heard of it called dots, the difference of two squares. So if you've got one perfect square and another perfect square, and they're separated by minus sign, then you've got the difference of two squares. So let's have a look at it. So we write out our two brackets. The square root of 25 is obviously 5, so we can write it here. Okay, the square root of x squared is x. Then this becomes a minus and plus, hence the sum and difference of two squares. Square root of 49 is 7, square root of 49 is 7, and square root of y squared is just y and y. And there you go. That's how beautiful that is. Now let's try something a little bit more complicated. And the reason I included this is because students often go and they don't realize that we can think of this bracket as basically a whole number. And they go along and they see the squared and they multiply it out. And actually, it's much easier than that. If you think of this whole bracket as just one whole number, then you see that you've got a perfect square and another perfect square because 36 is 6 times 6. Separated by minus. So what we actually have again is our dots. We've got our dots. We've got the difference of two squares. So this time, because we've got a bracket in it, I'm going to put a square bracket. So it's going to be a minus b minus 6. And then it's going to be a minus b plus 6. And we really don't like having two brackets or brackets in each other for the final answer. So what we're going to do is just multiply that out. It's very easy. It just becomes a minus b minus 6, and then it becomes a minus b plus 6. So please be careful of that and look for that. Right, grade 10, you should know how to do this. You should have had lots of practice from grade 9. But if you haven't, please practice these and make sure you do the assessment at the end of the section. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you, grade 10. Thank <laughs> you.